guys so it is Emily I am back I'm doing a review and this one I am super excited about I just filmed the review on my concealer palette that I just recently bought link is down below as well as a mascara one an eyelash review and now we're doing the brushes as you can see um, so I am so thrilled about these brushes like you guys Just looking at them makes my heart happy. Like, I can't even begin to describe to you guys. So, the real reason why I bought these brushes to begin with was because, oh, these look like Sigma brushes. And then looking at the set further, this one, um, I watch Melissa Autry. Um, I'll link her channel down below because she's really awesome. And then, like, tell her I sent you because she is so funny and so real. And that's kind of where I get my inspiration for my videos just because she's so real and she's like, you know what I mean? Um, but anyways, she has, um, a lot of people have it, not just, not just Melissa, but like a lot of YouTubers have Sigma brushes and the one I've always wanted to buy was this one, which is like an, it's called by Sigma, it's called like an, um, angled, angled top kabuki brush or something like that. Um, but this one just looked exactly similar and they're always like, they're so nice and dense and just so easy. Like, it's just so quick to blend everything out. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to spend that kind of money. <laughs> so, um, you know what? I'm going to find uh, brushes that look very similar on Sigma's website and link them down below so you guys can see um, how similar that they are. But, like, this set for four brushes costs me... Um, six dollars or something like that on Amazon so again the link to purchase these will be down below um, but I'm just pretty much going to tell you what I use them for and how much I love them because there is not one con um, when I first purchased these they were shedding a little bit but it was just pretty much the hair was already loose but since then no hair has come off and I'm like pulling it now and nothing is coming out um, before you could like see that it was like a loose hair and you could pull it out now they're like they're all gone and there there's no more shedding and then also when I first bought them they had some sort of funky smell I've smelled it before when I got Coastal Scents brushes but they're it's the scent is gone now once you've used it and once you wash it it's gonna be gone so that doesn't stick around but these are so soft and what I mean by being so dense if you don't like know what that is or whatever like when I'm pressing on this brush and I'm pressing nice and firm like it's not really falling apart but if you do it to something that is like a blending brush it's very flimsy you see what I'm saying this one really goes down not because it's a smaller brush because these bristles are more dense you can just feel it if you were to blend out your foundation with this little blending brush you're gonna have a bunch of streaks it's not gonna blend easy with this one it just bends up so far and it's meant to do that this one it's very nice and dense it pretty much just goes all together it's very hard for me to kind of just tell you guys but it's pretty much like this one is so flimsy and I'm pressing down the same pressure and this one these bristles are still staying intact otherwise on this one they pretty much just all fall do you know what I'm saying so this is very dense very easy to blend out your foundation anything you're blending out so with this one I use for contouring and for cream contouring um, I don't use these for powders right now um, if I order another set or once I clean these I'm gonna try them out with powder but I really bought them for cream products because um, I bought that concealer palette which is a cream concealer palette um, this one I use for contouring I just like tap it in here and then buff it out all the way to my temples and on my forehead and a little bit down here not too much on my neck or not any on my neck um, and I'll just kind of tap it like this and bring it all the way back to the ear and up so that's an awesome awesome brush this next one is uh, basically Sigma's flat top kabuki brush and literally it's just that it's a flat top kabuki brush again very very dense all of these are very nice and dense um, except this one <laughs> so three of them are dense out of the four this one is amazing for blending out your foundation and applying foundation you can apply foundation with this one I did it it still looked exactly the same um, I just was like you know what? I'm gonna use that one for contouring instead because it's a little bit more angled and stuff like that if I were to use this I'd have a big circle of a big area of contour um, but this one it blends so beautifully I'm not sure if you can tell on my skin 
I've had this on for a little bit, but it's just so flawless and I just love it so much. It literally takes me seconds to do. So I really recommend it. Also for concealer, once I apply it with like a brush like this, the cream concealers, I'll just come up under here and like, I just got some on my glasses. I'll come up under here and just tap and then the edges I'll just like blend out. I don't want to buff underneath the eye. I'm just tapping there and the edges is the only place where I do the circular motion. Let me clean my glasses because I can't see now. Okay, this is an amazing brush guys. I love it. Um, I have another one by Bare Minerals, and it's just the Heavenly Face Brush, and it's not that soft. I mean, it is now that I've, like, cleaned it, but when I first got it, it was not that soft. Um, and it kind of gets streaky after probably two uses of any foundation I use. Okay, the next one I want to talk about is more of this, like, domed, um, kabuki brush. I don't know. I'm just going off of what Sigma might call them. They are not Sigma brushes, though. These are Sigma look-alike. Um, I would probably even say that they're dupes, but again, I can't really say that because I've never owned a Sigma brush, and I'm not going to since I found these. Um, I use this for cream blush. I think this would also be really nice for contouring because it's more concentrated, um, but I use this for cream blush. What I do is I just swirl it into my product, and then I will take it and tap it on my cheek area, and then I will uh, blend it out once most of the product is gone. Um, and I do it on both sides. Clearly, you don't wear um, a cheek of blush on one side and not on the other. So, this one is really awesome. I would definitely want to try this as a contouring thing because you can get it more defined and stuff. Um, but I've been liking it for cream blush. I used to just apply it with like three fingers and tap it on, um, which is very effective too. But I just always hated having it on my fingers and then... You know, I would just make this huge mess. I would touch everything at the same time, like, oh my gosh. So, that's why I like the brush, but whatever floats your boat. If you want to use your fingers, that's cool, too. Use it for contouring or use it for foundation. You can use through all three of these foundations, or all three of these brushes for foundation. Okay, and then the last brush, which I really wanted, as well as the angled one. Is this the, yeah. Um, and this one is more flimsy. Clearly, you can definitely see, and you might even be seeing powder fly. Um, but I use this to set my under eyes and, you know, pretty much it's my under eyes because it comes to a point. I'm not sure what they would call this, but I just take it and just go right up under here like this with my airspun powder is what I've been setting that cream concealer with. But, um, I use these brushes and I get ready with me, all of them. So that is coming. But guys, these brushes are amazing. There's also another set on there that I might purchase the second time around because um, it's got these brushes plus four eye brushes. So you get a total of eight brushes for like eight something or close to nine dollars, I think. And it's free shipping, by the way. Um, I'll have the link to where you can purchase it down below as well as the other reviews for the cream, con uh, the cream concealer palette, the eyelashes, and the mascara that I'm going to be reviewing here in a second. Um... So if you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Also, if you have any questions, concerns, um, comments, feel free to contact me down there or on any of my social media sites. Bye, guys.